Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to print a nozzle check test page and also do cleaning cycles on an Epson XP245. This is nice and simple, and can be done from the printer itself without the aid of an attached PC or laptop. To get ourselves started, we actually need the printer to be off. So, press on that while the machine's turning off. And you'll know it's off fully when the power light stops flashing. So, what we need to do is hold down this button, which is the stop, reset, resume button on the right hand side here, shown by an upside down triangle in a circle. So we're gonna hold that down and then turn the printer back on. I'm gonna hold that down until the power light flashes, then release. And if we give the printer just a minute, we'll get a nozzle check test page. And yours will hopefully look better than that. You should have a solid black kind of gate pattern like you've got for the three colors here but this will be a breakdown of the black sign, magenta and yellow, showing both the printer's ability to print those colors and its ability to do fine detail like those lines there. As you can see, I do have an issue with the black here, which would result in some pretty patchy looking black prints. So I recommend doing cleaning cycles from the printer, which luckily are just as easy and can be done from the printer itself again. So what we're gonna do is hold down the same button. We're gonna hold it down for around three seconds until that power light starts flashing. So here we go. release. If we wait for a minute, you hear your printer making some buzzing, clicking and whirring sounds. And what it's doing is taking ink from the cartridges and pushing it through the printer's print head to hopefully dislodge any dried or congealed ink that could be causing that print quality issue with the black cartridge. Now again, this will take your printer a couple minutes, but you'll be able to tell when it's done when the flashing green power light becomes solid again. Now that light's solid again, you know the clean's complete. To check the results of your clean, I'd recommend doing a test page like we did just before. And you can go in circles now doing cleaning cycles and test pages. Do you hopefully see an improvement in your print quality? With these two steps, you should be able to resolve the majority of print quality issues. And I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, let me know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, drop it down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.